hi guys in the previous lecture we have we are creating this little gallery and we have reached at this space uh, at this place and now we have to give it the styles and first of all we have to create the adjust one and then we have to give the style by using the item so this item class is just for giving the padding on the top and the bottom side of the div here you can see that on the top side there is a space on the blue side there is also a space and now let's do it first of all create the adjust one here is adjust one and the wrap code here is the adjust one here is copy it and here is here I'm gonna write its name directly adjust one and here is its give it float left here is the display line here is block and then after it we have to give it width here is the width is 33 percent of the total width here it is 0.33 and now here is I'm gonna give the style to this item here is Here is here is dot content box. Here is this and here I'm gonna write padding ten pixel and here is zero for the left and right ten pixel on the top and bottom and here is its width is adjusted because we have given it thirty three percent and now let's give the style to the image here is the diff of the image zoom and here is this this and here is the position is relative and here is overflow is hidden and here is the display is inline block and here is the width is 100% hey exclamation mark and important here it is so now this div have the 100% width and the hundred percent what is the meaning of the hundred percent hundred percent means uh, this zoom div cover all the width that is provided to its parent div it, this is the parent div adjust one and it have the total width 33 percent so it means this zoom uh, zoom div will cover all the 33 percent width and now let's give the style to the image that is here here it is dot I'm gonna copy it and here it is here is IMG and first of all write the display of the images as a block and then here is the width of the image is 100% and here is important and here is the height auto so its height is automatically adjusted here is the transition all so the transition will be applied on all the Prop on all the properties that is related to the image and here is 
0 0.5 seconds transition and here is ease so what is the transition transition is just a way to slow the animation then we can see the animation here it is and now let's give the style to the content image is adjusted because we have give it with 100% so that's why it is shown completely and now let's give the style to the text here is this item content here it is this class first of all give the style to this class and this div here it is and before it here is and here is the background color is white the text background color is white and here is the padding 25 pixel and then here is the border of the div is one pixel solid hash ddd gray color and now here is the div that contain the content its name is item content and here is the padding around it here is around the text padding and now let's give this style to this text that is here this uppercase text that is in the span and here I'm going to use it here is span and now here is font size 15 pixel and here is the font weight 500 pixel and here is the color is black and now let's reload it here it is and now here you see that uh, this div have the distance on its top side so now here we have to give it some style to the this pane and the div and the images here I'm gonna write it here is image div and span here is vertical align to the top side and now let's reload it here it is so now it is okay there is no distance between this image and the div and now and now we have to give the style to this paragraph we have to reduce this space on the upper side of the paragraph here you see that we have to adjust all of these things here this here the paragraph have the different colors so we have to give the style to all the paragraphs here is p and here i'm going to give it here is the color is h 777 just light gray and here is the margin to the paragraph on the top and the bottom side is 10 pixel left right is 0 and here is this so now here you see that the, on the top side the margin is reduces also the margin is added on the bottom side so the anchor tag have the distance and now we have to give the style to this link and first of all I'm gonna apply a default style on all the anchor tags and here is here is the color the color is hff and 970b this is just a orange or light orange type color and here is the text decoration is none and then after this here I'm gonna give vertical align to the top 
here is vertical align top and here is now the next thing is when we take the mouse over the anchor tag so we have to give it text decoration is underline and now let's execute it so here it is and now we have to give it some other styles here you can see that this thing is awesome and here it is the this the difference is uh, it have not the style so I'm gonna give the style to this anchor tag by using its class btn here is the btn and then we will give the other styles when we take the mouse over it so a picture is become zoom here is here it is border 3 pixels solid and here is hash it is just like orange color 583e and then here is the border radius around the anchor tag is 3 pixel and then here is the display is inline block and here is the font size 14 pixel and here is the font family racing one we have including that included that font at the start racing one and then here is the line height is here is 1.4 just half and here is the margin on the bottom side of the anchor tag is 0 and now let's execute it so here it is we will give it more styles then it will be okay we will give it the padding on the top and bottom side 6 pixel left and right is 12 pixel and here is the text line to the center so the text will be in the center of the anchor tag and here is the transform we have to make it just like this it is tilted italic like italic so here I'm gonna give it here is copy the style from the above here it is here is and then here is the vertical line middle and white space is no wrap it is not necessary but I'm going to include it so why we include the white space no wrap because when we don't include it so these are the two words so maybe uh, when we open it, this website on the mobile or on any other laptop or on any other machine so these two words are maybe into the new lines maybe broke into two words this thing is okay next thing is when we take the mouse over it so this image is become zoom the background of this text is become changed the color of the text is also changed the background of this anchor tag is changed border color is changed its color is changed so now we have to apply the style on the three things first is image second is this content area its background and the color of the text is changed and the third thing is anchor tag its border background and the color of the text is changed and now here is this I'm gonna apply those styles here here is and here is first of all let apply the style on the image copy this here it is and when we take the mouse over the item div this div will contain the image and the text both things so that's why here is dot zoom div image here is 
the transform property will be applied on this image here is the scale so the image width and height is increased by 1.25 and it is rotate to the 5 degree here it is and now let's check it here you see that it is moved and now we have to apply the style on this text and now here I'm gonna apply the style on the background of the text and their color here it is and now here is when we take the mouse over the item so here is the item content here is the item content the style is apply on it here is the background it's become red here is hash f three five four two d and then here is the color it's become white and now here it is its color is changing we will apply the color on the paragraph uh, by specifying it separately we will give the paragraph color to the paragraph and the span separately but here we have to apply another thing that is the transition so here is the 600 millisecond and here is ease and then here is the border color border will also apply but the color of the on the text is not going to be applied here is f2 six three two four and here is remove this because it is not executing right now here is this the transition is applied so it is filling so smoothly and now i'm going to give the white color to this text here is this and when we take the mouse over it here is copy this and we have to apply the color white color on the paragraph and on the span here i'm gonna write span here it is color hash white here i'm gonna separate it by writing all this thing when we take the mouse over the span here is here it is so now all the things are correct we have to change just the border of the anchor tag and its background and the color here it is let's start first of all paste this when we take the mouse over the item div and item content here is remove this and here we have to write a dot btn class and here is its border color is become border color is become white and here is the text color is also become white here is the hash fff and then here is the border here is and here is and now let's execute it so now here it is created and now i'm going to copy and paste the code then we will create the two images the next two images here copy from the adjust one and paste it inside the row div this is the row div closing tag and here is and here is this is three and here is two here it is and now here is this so now all the things are okay we have to create the distance between these images this distance is not created because we have not defined the wrap call wrap call will provide the distance around it by using the margin here is 10 pixel so now here it is so this thing is okay and so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video